Hi guys, Chef Kevin Belton here. Now, today we're gonna do a recipe that's gonna touch your soul. That's right, we're gonna make chicken soup that is so good, it's gonna touch your soul. And you know, everybody tries to make soups, but they're not good at making soup. One of the things I remember about soups, especially chicken noodle soup, is it had a flavor that can't be reproduced. And the reason why, we're gonna make stock from scratch. Now, here, if you notice our chicken, all right? I've taken them out of this packaging, but you notice the fatty parts, I didn't cut that off. I left that on because, you know, it's something about the fat that gives flavor. I remember watching grandmother, when she would make chicken noodle soup, she would take, I, I tell you, she would take that chicken, cook it down, and it'd be a layer of that chicken fat on the top. Now she would skim some of that off and then use it for later for other things, but that's where that flavor came from in that chicken noodle soup. Now, the other things we have here that we're gonna put in our pot, and this is just for the stock, okay? Basically, we have a couple of bay leaves, we have some rough cut celery, some rough cut carrots. You can notice on the celery, I even left the leaves on at the top. The onion, I just quartered it, left the skin on. We have some black peppercorns right there. Um, I have garlic cloves that I'm gonna just leave whole. Now, if you have a head of garlic, cut it in half and then toss it in. And I'm also going with some fresh thyme, okay? Now, what we want to do with this, I have the water simmering, all right? We're gonna get all of our goodies in and you know, just toss it right on in. One of the things you notice I didn't put in was any salt because later on, once we start to actually put our soup together, that's when we can go ahead and add salt to it. But what we want here is for this to release its flavor. That's why this is gonna go kind of low and slow. I have the fire fairly high right now because I wanted to start to release those flavors, okay? We're gonna go ahead and get our chicken in. We can go ahead and slide our chicken right on in. And we wanna make sure that he's covered. So let's get a little more water to make sure it's covered. And this is one of the things about making stock and making really good soups is that some things just can't be rushed, okay? And this is one of those things that just, you, you can't rush it. It just has to go slow. Now, this is gonna be on the fire for a while. I'm gonna go ahead and partially cover this. Once I see it start to bo boil, just a slight bit, we're gonna turn it down and let it simmer. And we're gonna let it simmer for about an hour and a half. And that by that time, the fat will be released, its oil and its flavor and our chicken will be ready to be cooled and pulled off the bone and we'll be ready to put our soup together. So uh, this uh, is gonna have a lot of flavor, a lot of flavor. Our next step for our chicken soup for the soul. Now, basically I've taken everything and I've drained it, okay? So in our pot, I add a little bit of olive oil and I added more onion, celery, and carrots and I had diced up, all right? And if you remember, we didn't season the stock. So now let's do a little bit of salt, a little bit of our Creole seasoning. And I just want to saute this down. Now, with soups, I don't necessarily saute this to where it turns brown, okay? I want to saute this long enough to where the moisture starts to come out of that onion and that celery because if we cook it to where the moisture starts to come out as opposed to caramelizing, that's just gonna add flavor, okay? Now, also in, let's throw in, we'll throw in a couple of bay leaves. We'll also put in a little garlic. All right, ah, the smell, the smell, the smell. Now, if you're wondering what happened to everything that was in the pot earlier, what I did, I took out our chicken, put it on a platter, and as you can see here, basically I've taken, I took all the skin off the chicken, took a couple of forks and pulled it apart. 
Now, the carrots, the onions that were in there earlier, I got rid of. But look what I saved. Of course, I had to save that right there. Those are the chunks of garlic because they're nice and so soft and so tender that they're pretty much just going to fall apart, all right? So I went ahead and pulled the chicken off the bone. And remember, it's important. Take that skin off. We don't need that skin because we got the flavor from it. So we use that skin for flavor, okay? So now that this is sauteing really nice, let's go ahead and get in some more thyme. And I like to do fresh thyme. Let's just put in our fresh thyme and let's get in our stock. You know what? I want to stop for a second and show you something. See, I put a little bit of stock in and I want to stir the bottom of that pot really good because while we were sauteing, we had a little bit of that seasoning and all start to stick to the bottom, you know, and we want to make sure we get that up. All right. Yeah, that's really good. Oh, I tell you what, the smell is so good. Now, you know, the thing about stocks, the longer they cook, and they reduce. Basically, by reducing them, you're basically intensifying the flavor, okay? The moisture is evaporating, the flavor is intensifying, but I tell you what, if the flavor is not that strong, add a stock cube or a bouillon cube to it, okay? If you don't think it's strong enough. Now, I'm gonna use, this is a garlic noodle that I'm gonna put in. So I'm gonna get this hot, I'm gonna put in our noodles, We'll get our noodles to the point where we're about to cook. And then we'll put in our chicken. My soul is starting to feel good already. Now, I've adjusted the seasoning, okay? Now, let's check our noodles, okay? We just want to grab a noodle just to make sure. And of course, because I'm trying to get one, one doesn't want to come up. Now, I like my noodles where they're al, al dente, where they're a little firm. Mm, perfect. We don't want the pasta to get overcooked. So now, let's put our chicken back in. And the reason why I didn't put the chicken in earlier, remember, it was already cooked. We had shredded it off the bone. So our chicken just needs to go in just long enough for it to really warm back up. So now, here's how we're gonna finish this off, okay? We're gonna take some lemon. You know, if you ever have something and it's not quite there, the flavor's not quite there, lemon. Lemon brings out such a great flavor, all right? So let's get a little lemon, lemon juice in here to just brighten it up. You know, I tell you that, that you should really try, if you ever somewhere out to eat, you know, there's sometimes on cruises because they have so many different appetites. They can't season things like maybe they want to. So if you see something that's good or you take something that's good, but it's not quite all the way there, ask for some fresh lemon. That lemon will really brighten it up. And also, let's just go in with a little parsley and green onion. Oh, doesn't that look great? Doesn't that look good? And look, look, did you see our branches of rosemary? that were rolling around. Now, my bay, bay leaves, I don't take out. You know, the rosemary, we can see them so we don't have to ladle them into the bowl, okay? So that way, that way we don't have to, you know, we won't serve them to people. So let's go ahead. Oh, look, we have a nice bit of chicken there. Let's see if we can get some of the vegetables. Oh, doesn't that look great? We'll put this here. Maybe a little more green onion and parsley just to finish this off. You know, all this needs now is a nice spoon and, and some crackers maybe to go with it. Or make a little garlic bread. And if you notice, if Mon Monica, show them this right quick. See that little bit of oil on top, guys? I hate to say it, that's flavor. Too much oil will make something taste greasy. A little bit of oil adds flavor. That's why we cooked that chicken 
slow in the stock to make our stock from it for that fat to come off of that skin. And that way we can lose the skin and don't need it. So I hope this helps feed your soul because I tell you what, who doesn't love a good bowl of chicken soup? So keep washing those hands, masking up, stay safe. I thank you so much for cooking with me. For WWL, I'm Chef Kevin Belton and we will see you soon.